Hello and welcome. It is a Saturday morning, bright and early in New York City, and I am hoping to sneak in a quick test of one of the Microsoft Excel Collegiate Challenge round two questions before my kids wake up. So let's see how that goes. I'm not sure what the odds of not being interrupted are, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, so there are three, uh, three questions in the round. I'm going to start with uh, the one with the lowest points, because I'm hoping that's the shortest one. We'll see. Uh, it's called Horse Racing, and it's by Jack Franken. Jack is uh, like an excellent esports competitor, held the record for the fastest solve of an esports round ever for a long time. Um, but I don't think he's ever set a case before, so I'm quite curious to see what he's come up with. Anyway, let's dive on in. Instructions. You're hosting the Microsoft Excel Horse Derby. The racetrack is shown on the racetrack tab and consists of 50 cells, 50 furlongs with different conditions, dirt, water, and mud. Got it. Levels 1 to 4 walk you through determining a horse's speed at any given part of the race. Levels 5 and 6 ask you to simulate a full race, first for a single horse and then for a full heat. Okay. Uh, okay, got it. So, make this a table. And I'm going to also just put those out and put in some shorter names. So just say name, speed, water, mud. Uh, and also just name the table T for ease of reference. OK. And then I guess I'm probably going to need to fill this in. So let's just do that. We'll do D, W, D. M D W D M and D. And then I'm just going to name one line of this. It seems like the whole thing just repeats, so I'll just call that track. Okay, so now let's go. How many horses? So that should just be equals rows of T. Uh, which horse has the longest name? Include spaces. Okay, so we're going to X look up uh, 1000 in len of T name, returning from T name, uh, exact match or next smaller item. Which horse has base speed as the fastest? So again, we can X look up 1000 in T speed, returning from T name, exact match or next smaller item. Okay, how many horses are slowed down by both water and mud? Okay, so I'll do, uh, just double check this format. Yeah, so it's just, we're counting how many are less than zero, so let's say count ifs. T water is less than zero, and T mud is less than zero. If all horses completed in one race, which horse would win? I'll have to come back to that. Okay, so what is the base speed of each horse. Fine. So X look up that in T name, returning from T speed. And that matches. Good. So on we go. Given each horse's base speed, how long will it take? Uh, okay, so I think it's just 50 divided by. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Divided by X look up this in T name, returning from T speed. Is that right? No, that's not right at all. Uh, okay, hang on, what? Seven seconds per first. Oh, sorry, we're multiplying, not dividing. Uh, does that make sense? Yes, of course that makes sense. My God. Silly me. Okay. Uh, next. The race starts at the starting line, ends at the finish line. The same section of the racetrack have water or mud. Okay, yes, for each section of the track, determine whether the section is filled with mud. Okay, fine. So this is just going to be. Oh. If. Fine. Uh, so WMD is water, mud, dirt. Uh, let's call this um, types. So first I'm just going to index on that uh, track name I gave for that, and then I just need to you look up that in types to zero. Okay, happy days. Uh, actually, just for the VLOOKUP haters. We'll hard code that so nobody can insert a column in the middle of it. Okay, level four, picking up speed. What is the speed of the horse within the given track length? Okay, so 
<laughs> so I'm actually going to name this W and M, and I'm just going to add D. This is this is in dirt, right? I think so. So I think it'll be easier to just make this zero everywhere. So it's going to be index T W out as far as, oops, as far as D. Uh, we're going to X match this against T name and and then we're going to <laughs> we're going to X match. Sorry, close this X match first. So that's the row. And then for the column, I need to match the kind of thing that is here against that. So we're going to X match index track by this. So that's going to give me W. And then I'm going to X match W against T headers. I think that's right. Uh, what is the speed of the horse? Oh, sorry. No, no, not quite, not quite, not quite. So that is the that is the adjustment factor. Uh, but then I need to get the horse's base speed. I'm just going to be X look up the name in T name, uh, returning from T speed, and then multiply by one plus the adjustment factor. Hmm? Okay, what was it? Oh, sorry, at some point this got deleted. Index. By an autocomplete that was overzealous. Raf, what? Oh boy, am I confused now. Let's go through. That works fine. Oh, sorry, sorry, I get it, I get it, I get it. I should have just done index on all of T because I'm matching against T headers. So I'll show you what I was doing. I was I was looking in these columns, but I was matching the uh, the header name against the full set of headers. So it wor it gave an answer if it was W because it was giving, uh, it was matching the third. So it was giving me the wrong answer, but an answer. But then as soon as it got to four or five, that was trying to get something outside the range and did not work. Okay. So now that's that fixed, and that changes, which is good. All right, so I think that works. Uh, level five, calculate the time it takes for a force to complete the full track in seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna break this one out a little more now. So speed, um, M, D, W. Uh, actually, yeah, I guess count ifs, track, but these. This is the number of, of each of these types. So we're going to X look up this in T name, returning from T speed. And yeah, it's X look up this block in T name, returning from T M uh, and from T D and from T W. So then it's going to be this times sum of this number of spots lock that I'm going to copy down times one plus this. Yes, and then I'm guessing I'm going to round. Yes, round to the nearest second. So total round. Actually, you know what? It would make much more sense to just calculate this over here. And so let's do that. Let's do count ifs. Track is that. Then top time is going to be your base speed times the sum of this block times one plus this. Uh, and then we can just round x 
let's look up this in name returning from t dot dot uh, sorry comma zero okay level six which horse will win the race mm, okay so i think what i want is first to look up the five horses total times in t name returning from t total time and then i want to x look up zero in that returning from the list of names with exact match or next larger item so that'll match against the smallest one and that sure enough matches giddy gallant okay mm, and that's it and then we just have to say uh which horse wins overall and that's just gonna be x look up zero in t dot time returning from t name exact match or next larger item. So I, I made a video recently talking about the benefits of calculating in a table rather than calculating each individual one as I had started to do wherever this, yeah, as I had started to do here, because then it generalizes much more easily to this and to the bonus question and other things. So uh, I, I ended up doing all the work to calculate it once, but at least I caught myself just on time. Anyway, managed to get away with this before my kids woke up. Maybe I'll even sneak in another one since that was fast. Uh, let's see if it works. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay, I had to add a quick addendum to this before I could upload it because <laughs> um, as you can see, I zoomed through it and thought, oh, this is all fine. I briefly noticed myself as I looked back at the video uh, where it was here <clears throat> um, or wh wherever we first called, yeah, here, where I divided the, the distance by the speed um, to try to get the time and that didn't work and I quickly eyeballed the example and said oh you know we have to multiply wait does that make sense and I said yeah sure it makes sense and just carried on because there's a certain mindset that I get into when I'm doing esports that's just quite speed oriented but actually it didn't make sense at all um, and <laughs> sure enough when you look back here this column was labeled speed and I probably didn't help myself by reducing the label to just the word speed uh, but it actually describes speed as seconds per furlough uh, and as a physicist uh, and also for long, I think is what is meant here. But anyway, uh, as a physicist, uh, speed is definitely uh, distance over time, not time over distance, um, which is fine. You can obviously measure speed the other way around as well, but then that leads to differing interpretations. So for example, uh, <clears throat> when it says, uh, let's see, when we get to calculating speed, uh, you know, your base speed is 16.2 seconds per furlong, and then mud slows you down with a minus 20% impact, and then you end up going, uh, taking 20% fewer seconds per furlong. Uh, that is definitely not how either, you, you can think of speed that way, or you can think of slowing down that way, but you definitely can't think of both that way. Uh, and equally then that leads you to, you know, if, if you think of this as actually a speed up, then, you know, how many horses are slowed down by both mud and water? Well, the answer would actually be zero. Uh, also here, which horse's base speed is fastest? I just immediately said, okay, sure. Just look up a big number in speed. So we find the highest speed, but of course, uh, fastest, if you're measuring speed inverted is actually the smallest speed number. Uh, there were, there were two of those. Um, <clears throat> so I, I know this has all been kind of flagged to the organizers, uh, and the, they are going to credit, uh, for example, if, if people gave one of these uh, horses, they are going to credit that as a correct answer. Um, so, uh, so if you uh, took part and you looked at this with a more critical eye than I did and said, wait, what's going on here? Uh, and tried to adjust for that, then don't worry, you will get credit for that. Um, I, I think most people will probably just, <clears throat> you know, see the, see this guiding them. And, and even if it doesn't make total sense, at least there's a clear kind of indication of the path you're meant to go along. But uh, I just thought I had to address that since I completely didn't notice it uh, during my original test run. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.